Today's video is sponsored by Vessi. More on that later. I'm a, I think I'm in love. Oh, joy. People your age don't know what love is. You just, for example, remember that boy that you rejected? Jack. So, yeah. Yeah, sweetheart. I've been kind of fooling around with him. Jack is the boy <laughs> I'm in love with. You're sleeping with my boyfriend. Hi. <clears throat> I also don't know what that was. Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, oh. the premium channel that is free. It is, um, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. <laughs> Thank you for welcoming me back with open arms to a channel I have not posted on in a minute, but I have not forgotten you, my premium viewers. Um, and I wanna make more content for you today. But first, we've gotta talk about today's sponsor, Vessi. You probably haven't noticed, but I've actually been wearing my Vessis this whole video. On an unrelated note, I'm gonna take a drink of water, as I do all the time. Oh no! I'm spilling the water. Oh no, my, my, my Vessi shoes! Just kidding, they're waterproof. My computer's ruined, but that doesn't matter as long as my Vessies are safe. Vessi shoes are great because they're lightweight and flexible, and they're also made from a knit fabric that keeps your feet cool in the summer and warm in the winter. They're also super easy to keep clean, so if I get them dirty on a hike or I just spill something else at my desk, I can just rinse them in water or pop them in the washing machine. I love a good pop. Vessies are truly an all day sneaker. I like to go on long walks and I can wear them there. I can also wear them at my desk during meetings or even if I'm going out for the night. I guess what I'm trying to say is Vessies are the only shoe you'll ever need. If you also want your feet to be nice and comfortable like mine, head on over to Vessi.com slash Jarvis and use the promo code Jarvis at checkout to get $25 off your order of shoes. Thanks to Vessi for sponsoring this video. Um, and you can't have mine. You can't have mine. Um, let's let's get into it. Today I am confused. Today I'm confused because I was sent a DM. Um, I got a DM from Justin Koontz on Instagram. Thank you, Justin. Also, how dare you? Who told me about a strange TikTok uh, trend, a strange TikTok account that I could maybe check out, and. This is the account, Butler Darren. The thing about Butler Darren is that he is pretending to be the assistant of a billionaire. Um, I say pretending because the account is fictional. On his profile, it says, here to supply billionaire drama, fictional, not fake. So it's not fake, it's fictional. I guess it's kind of like how uh, the Avengers isn't fake, <laughs> you know? Uh, it's a fictional story. So this account is very weird to me. The whole premise of it is that it's, well, actually, let me just show you one. Does anyone know the difference between Wagyu steak and Kobe beef? Well, I do now because I'm a personal assistant to a billionaire. It was really hard not to laugh during playing that just now because the difference between Wagyu steak and Kobe beef, uh, did they say the difference between Wagyu steak and Kobe beef? I mean, the difference is actually, actually the difference is like semantics, right? Like, isn't there, I, I'm not to be a beef expert, but I, Kobe is like a subset of Wagyu uh, because, you know, Wagyu is just the type of the cows and Kobe, you know, it's specifically from the Kobe region, but it is under the umbrella of Wagyu. Anyway. That's neither here nor there. It's not information that only billionaires know. <laughs> I don't know why that is an insight from a billionaire's assistant, but it's fictional, right? So I can't tell how much comedy, like it's, it's you know, it's very difficult for me to tell if this is super self-aware or it's just corny or like the acting is bad because the acting is not great. Okay, we could watch one more. What's the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire? Millionaires buy garages full of fancy cars. Millionaires buy courtside tickets. Billionaires buy the whole team. Okay, so millionaires buy courtside tickets and billionaires buy the whole team. Uh, billionaires aren't buying the whole team <laughs> just to go to one game. The whole purpose of this is like, millionaires pay for things that they can afford and billionaires spend more money than that. Thousandaires go to Starbucks. Millionaires franchise the whole Starbucks. 
just to get one coffee. Just because they can, because they're millionaires. They can do whatever they want. So this account has a very recent TikTok that it posted that is kind of where uh, I originally was like just going to talk about this guy because he's hilarious. But then I saw, I saw this TikTok, which just threw me for a loop and like opened up a wormhole into the wonderful world of fictional uh soap opera tiktok like i don't know what this is but let's let's see here first butler darren teases that he's going to expose a tiktoker as a billionaire's kid the thing is this is fictional so i guess he's this is all he's going to fictionally expose a fictional account as a fictional billionaire's kid i guess you know i guess that's what it that's what the premise is here uh eventually he does expose someone and i'll just i'll just play this yeah, that's hot enough. Yeah, one of his things is that he keeps talking about how hot the tea is and he drinks tea in every mug. It's like, okay, man. This is where I'm like, okay, I get that it's a character, but we, we've kind of beaten uh, the tea joke to death at this point as a society. I think we don't need it anymore. The other day I asked if you guys wanted to hear the tea on a billionaire's daughter who's secretly on TikTok pretending to be a prude loner. Much underscore joy is one of the daughters of the 200 richest men in America playing pretend for God knows why. Her name isn't even Joy. Trixie, this is what you get for making me spend my birthday in an ambulance. Hold your liquor next time, please. Again, if you want to see the tea, link in bio. And when you click the link in his bio, there isn't one. So he calls out another TikTok creator by the name of Much Joy, and this is her page. She has 275,000 followers. And her bio says, fictional girl, authentic, redhead she makes a lot of tiktoks about being a, a redhead i go off but the next line of her bio is a fictional billionaire is not my dad <laughs> and there's apparently this like feud between these two people she put out a tiktok where she denies the claims of being a billionaire's daughter this is all fictional but it's just the acting is so i'll just say it the acting is not good and it feels like Mm, feels like a high school. It feels like two people who just like completed one improv class <laughs> or like it feels like a high school theater production. And that feels so rude to say, but like, I don't know what's going on here. Underscore Joy is one of the daughters of the 200 richest men in America. Is this some kind of weird joke? I'm sorry, but I literally have never met this person in my life i have no idea why he's saying i'm a billionaire's daughter or a party animal or that he even knows me so she like fictionally claims not to be the fictional daughter of a fictional billionaire and, and, and is responding like she uh, as if she's being fictionally canceled i mean billionaire as you can see here i'm basically broke i literally just got my first kiss from a guy who also hooked up with my grandma and now a stranger is trying to cancel me um <laughs> feel free to take a minute because that was a lot she's like okay i've got 800 dollars in my uh, very low resolution capital one screenshot and then what was that i literally just got my first kiss from a guy who also hooked up with my grandma okay so no one asked <laughs> but, and that doesn't at all seem related to the alleg the fictional allegations against this fictional person i didn't see this message that says see previous videos here <laughs> uh, initially so i was just scrolling down her tiktok feed trying to understand what is going on and it looks like originally she was just posting uh normal nor normal tiktoks i don't want to i don't want to clown on her regular tiktoks i don't know people make tiktoks but then i stumbled upon this tick this tiktok where she's on going on a first date and the acting who? <laughs> Here's the deal. All the guys I matched with on Hinge were just generally shallow. Honestly, I had lost hope until this boy commented on a picture of my grandma and I. Yes, my grandma forced me to include her in my profile. He suggested that we go on a multi-generational date with him and his grandpa. <laughs> I'm so excited! I just don't know what to make of these TikToks, man. <laughs> okay, but that wasn't even the one I was, I was talking about, but it sets up, it sets up this next one. And it looks like there's just this common thread there's like uh all these characters there's a lot of tiktoks about the grandma and her dating history uh, uh, 
for what reason, I don't know. I don't know how we got to this place. What about the TikTok algorithm made this person think that this is what we wanted to see? Or, you know, maybe it's just like a creative writing class gone wrong. Timing my hinge match before the date to make sure he's not a catfish. Joy Kerrigan. Hi. <laughs> Oh, wow, you just no, you're just pretty. I'm sorry. No. Um. Oh. <laughs> Are you cringing yet? Ah, uh, this is okay. So, like, obviously, this stuff is all fake. Um, I hope. In in which case, I'll just criticize the writing and acting. Who who opens up a first date with a full name? Joy Kerrigan, full name, age 23, height 5'2". Oh, um, thank you. you. Take after your grandmother. God, she would love that you said that. I mean, you. Who says that on a first date? You take after your grand? Who are you? <laughs> the previous TikTok was just like, I'm going to go on this date with this guy. And then the guy said, like, like knows all this stuff about you. Wouldn't that be creepy? Would that not be a creepy thing? Uh, if somebody just was like, ah, looks like you've got your mother's cheekbones. Outclassing you right now. I just barely threw on this t-shirt and you got this, the whole outfit. And I'm um, still on <laughs> You're perfect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you look perfect. Uh, uh, it's like a bad Netflix movie. <laughs> Something I have not brought up up to this point is the comments in all of these videos. It feels like despite the fact that they, they say it's fictional and half the hashtags are fictional, blah, blah, blah. Half the commenters don't know that it's fake. And that's like a... That's entertainment in and of itself. A match made in heaven. You are both intelligent and good looking. He seems very nice. Go for it. Good luck. I think you guys make a great couple. This character Joy also leaves comments on her own TikToks that, ooh, just like, like in the billionaire's daughter TikTok, she's like, hey guys, do not try to take down Darren. I'm gonna make him look foolish and prove my innocence myself. I'm just trying to prove I'm not the daughter of some billionaire because this guy says I am. Like there's something, of, it's like uncanny valley. It's just none of it's written like how a real person talks or acts. But anyway, that leads us to, I guess what, what happens next in this, in this strange, strange story. What did you think of your date the other night, Jack Scrimpa? Well, I prefer men who still have all their teeth. His grandson, on the other hand, very fine young man. Are you going to be seeing that uh, pretty young thing again? You. So they so they go on the date, and it's and then the grandma's flirting with the boy, and then she has her first kiss with the guy, and then we find out that the grandma is dating the guy also and then she's in a love triangle with her grandma i why is this a thing <laughs> what like grandma, i think i'm in love oh joy people your age don't know what love is you just for example remember that boy that you rejected so, yeah yeah sweetheart i've been kind of fooling around with him he's always telling me that he's in love with me but i know better jack is the boy <laughs> i'm in love with you're sleeping with my boyfriend <sighs> Um, is that for real? It's outrageous. He looked very honest and trustworthy. This is the same guy as before. They're like eating this up. You've got a toxic grandma, sweetie. Do not tell her anything about your love life from now on. This one is too far. Now I don't trust any of this is real. You got to this point. I think what happened is that she didn't used to like lead with the fact that it was fake because th these older ones don't have, don't have hashtags fictional or whatever. Um, and neither did the billionaire guy. So maybe once people caught on, I don't know how it would take you <laughs> any amount of time to catch on. But once another enough people caught on, they started just like leaning into the fictional aspect of it. But it is so, so strange. And I wanted to share that with you. The last little piece I want to show is on the, the billionaire assistant TikTok. He responds to the allegations that they don't know each other by showing this video that he has of this girl. Cause he like, he was like, you ruined my, my birthday. I, I spent my birthday in an ambulance or whatever. It's just like so over the top. And then he posts, he posts this, which is supposed to be candid camera footage of how he already knows the girl. You can't put up a single piece of evidence. Look at her. <laughs> Dear Bear, is that you? <laughs> oh. We need to take shot. God. It's your birthday. 
Have you ever seen worse drunk acting in your life? <laughs> I feel bad saying the acting is bad, but I mean, you, I mean, whatever. It's like you're doing your thing and uh, it's getting, it's getting views and it has very strange, has a very strange profile of people who are into this. Joy's response, by the way, is, okay, whoa, dot, dot, dot. Guys, that is definitely not me. Please do not report him. I don't know why she keeps using zeros instead of O's. I need to be able to figure this out with him and I can't if he's banned. This to me seems like there are, <laughs> there are enough people who think it's real that they are trying to get this guy's TikTok account removed. And she <laughs> she's like, oh no, this is going too far. Guys, don't ban him. Uh, if he's banned, we can't get to the bottom of our, you know, drama. Someone in the comments here is like, I don't know if this is satire or not. And that is precisely the, that's where I'm at right now. I cannot tell how deep the rabbit hole goes with like the satire. So maybe all of this is like five levels deep of, of, of satire. And I just simply don't understand it with my peanut brain. But I had to, I had to show this to you because I was just mesmerized by the whatever this is <laughs> thank you for joining me today my premium viewers i hope to see you very soon if you want to keep hanging out with me i do stream on twitch.tv slash jarvis johnson as well as you know we've got the gaming channel we've got the main channel we've got all the channels you know so um come hang out you can follow me on social media uh and that's another place that i am as well so stay gold everybody I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace. I'll cut it before I said peace because I don't know why did I say it like that.